Hi, I'm Kale, and let's make your program faster. Quad and octrees are data structures which divide your data space into partitions, allowing for faster searching than just storing your data in an array. Quad trees are used for 2D data, while octrees are used for 3D data. Let's walk through an example. Say you have a bunch of points on a 2D plane, and you want to find the nearest point to our new point. If our points are just stored in an array, we have to check each point to find the nearest. Even after we find a really close one, we have to keep checking all the remaining points, as they might be closer since our array doesn't provide any information for how our points are arranged in our dataset. With a quad tree, we create a bounding rectangle around all our points. Generally, this root node will have a min and max bounds set to the region we are interested in. Then we subdivide our root node into four equal parts, while the number of points in each child is still greater than some threshold, we continue to subdivide. Now to repeat our search for our nearest neighbor, we start by checking points in the same node as our reference point. As long as the distance to a neighboring point in the node is less than the distance between our reference point and an edge of the node, we don't need to check points contained in any other node. If it's not, we do need to check neighboring nodes so we don't miss a point which is just on the other side of the boundary. The representation is a relatively simple tree structure, with the dense case containing 2 to the d child nodes per node, where d is the number of dimensions in our data. To find the points to test, we just walk down the tree from our root, until we find a leaf node that has children. To test if a node contains a point, either our reference point when searching, or the points in the data set when building the tree, we can use an access aligned bound and box test. This just involves checking our point is to the right of the left edge of our box and to the left of the right edge, as well as below the top edge and above the bottom edge. Now that you are familiar with what quad and oct trees are, here are some tips on when they should be used and should not be used. When to use one. In games, especially where the map is static, you can greatly speed up collision testing by quickly excluding all faraway objects. In simulations, you can speed up calculations by approximating faraway boxes. For example, the sum of the mass of all the objects in a region can be cached on the tree node instead of calculating the force exerted by each object. In rendering, you can speed up ray tracing with faster hit tests. In nearest neighbor search, the example we just did, finding the most similar object just involves walking down the tree and keeping track of the distance. As we are using a tree, we expect this to run in O of log n instead of O of n time. Here's some examples on when we don't want to use a tree. If the world changes so much that the tree is too expensive to maintain or build, such as rapidly changing data without a structured motion. A galaxy simulation can still work as the motion of objects is well-defined and objects can just be moved into the correct boxes when they cross boundaries without needing to recreate the tree from scratch. If you can't box your data, the inclusion test could be too expensive that it negates any performance benefit. A box doesn't have to be an access allowed binding box. That's just a trivial example for this video. When using geospatial data, it can work and will be better than not using one, but be careful of data located near the poles, as distances compress with latitude and longitude aligned bounding boxes at the higher latitudes. When you have more than three dimensions of data, the trees can become complex to manage as you have two to the D boxes per node in a dense tree. As with geospatial data, there are much better data structures for covering this, and I'll be covering them in future episodes, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.